In this video, you will learn about the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children and the history of their program. The Center for Missing and Exploited Children is the leading nonprofit organization in the U.S. working with law enforcement, families, and the professionals who serve them on issues related to missing and sexually exploited children. In the past 29 years, NCMEC has handled more than 3.7 million calls and assisted authorities in the recovery of more than 183,000 missing children nationwide. For missing children, the NCMEC is prepared 24 hours a day to assist families. If you ever have a problem like this, you need to contact them immediately. And to help this charity we can donate today, slowly help stop this problem. As well as helping to stop the problem, the NCMEC also provides support services to victims and families coping with the traumatic experiences of abduction and sexual exploitations. So services are administered by master level trained mental health and child welfare professionals. What the NCMEC has been trying to do is create a unique public and private partnership to build a coordinated national response to the problem of missing and sexually exploited children. They also want to establish a missing children hotline, which they have already succeeded in doing, and serve as the national clearinghouse for information related to these issues. To help support this foundation, its nonprofit work, the NCMEC receives federal funding for certain core services and also utilizes broad based private sector support from corporations, foundations, and individuals, so us. In 30 years, the national toll free hotline 1 800 The Lost, 1 800 843 5678 has handled more than 3.8 million calls. With the help from corporate partners, they have circulated billions of photos of missing children and their employees have assisted law enforcement in the recovery of more than 193,000 victims of missing children. The NCMEC has received congressional authorization to establish a cyber tip line which provides a centralized mechanism for the public. This program has reviewed more than 104 million child pornography images. Teams of social services professionals and others provide emotional support to the families and victims. Outreach teams work in communities to help make child safety a daily concern. Approximately 800,000 children younger than 18 are reported missing. Abductions do not occur randomly by strangers. It also occurs inside of families. In fact, more than 200,000 children were abducted by family members. More than 58,000 children were abducted by non-family members. Stereotypical kidnapping is when the children does not know an acquaintance and follows them. An estimated 115 children were the victim of this kind of kidnapping. This organization also receives help from the Amber Alert program. This program was created in 1996 and is operated by the U.S. Department of Justice. And as of April 2, 2014, 688 children have been successfully recovered as a result of this program. On www.missingkids.com slash history, you can find history about the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. According to their history, 30 years ago, police could enter information about stolen cars, stolen guns, even stolen horses into the FBI's crime database but not stolen children. Several tragic cases began to awaken the nation to the problem that there was no coordinated national system for addressing missing children cases. However, in 1979, six-year-old Ethan Paths vanished from a New York street on his way to school. Over the next several years, 29 children and young adults were found murdered in Atlanta. Then in 1981, six-year-old Adam Walsh was abducted from a Florida shopping mall and later found brutally murdered. When Adam first disappeared, his parents John and Ray Walsh turned to law enforcement to help find their son. To their disbelief, there was no coordinated effort among law enforcement to search for Adam 
on a state or a national level and no organization to help them in their desperation. In 1981, and in response to their tragedy, the Walshes established the Adam Walsh Outreach for Center for Missing Children in Florida to serve as a national resource for other families missing children. As the national movement grew, Congress enacted Missing Children's Act in 1982, which enabled the entry of missing children information into the FBI's National Crime Information Center database, known as the NCIC. Former President Ronald Reagan officially opened the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children in 1984 and in 1990. The Adam Walsh Outreach Center merged with the NCMEC. Every May 25th, which is the anniversary of Eaton Paltz's disappearance, the nation will observe Missing Children's Day. For more than three decades, the search for Eaton has continued. We will never forget a child no matter how long they have been missing. National Children's Day honors this commitment to help locate and recover missing children like Eaton by reminding parents, guardians, family, and communities that every child deserves a safe childhood. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children gathers key facts regarding the issues of missing and sexually exploited children. These key facts are the missing children themselves, the numbers about them, child sexual exploitation, and internet safety. Together with the help of many others, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children have culminated and managed to build a huge program children deserves to be